Good morning. Today, I want to take you through leak detection in a refrigerator. This model is NX260 NFK Nexus. It's come from Molo. And uh, the technician there is refilled the gas. And after two days, freezing is not there. So what I've done currently, I've separated the discharge line from the compression to the filter section. This is from the compressor. This is to the filter section. It has stayed with the gas for two days. Now, after opening one of the pipe by cutting, gas has come out. But on this sanction side, that starts from the capillary to the sanction of the compressor. There's no gas after two days. So what I want to do, I want to do the bubble test or the heat test so that I can certain exact joint that is producing, is releasing gas within a short time before I make a recommendation. So meanwhile, I'm going to do brazing, put my charging line to the system. As you can see, this is the charging line. I want to fix it here to make it, uh, to enable me put gas. I'll use a reducing pipe, which you can see. A reducing pipe, and insert it on the sanction side. That way. Then I'll use my brazing gas, the brazing torch, to make the joint. And do pipe. Let me make a good sound. Okay. Now this is breathing. The joint. Now breathing the joint. To enable me to do the pressure. See me closing the map gas. After closing my map gas, I'll put it safe. Then I'll use my gauge manifold to insert Freon R600. Because the gas being very flammable. I'll use torch method to detect area of leakage. So this is R600 that will enable me to know area of leakage. Now, as you can see, I want to use a small flame from the torch to the capillary section because it should be through. The gas should enter from the cylinder via the gauge to the sanction and come up to the capillary. So when I use a slight flame, being flammable, I have to take extra caution, otherwise the whole system will burn. You can see now at a distance what is happening. You can see that means that gas is coming out via the small pipe. That is good. I'll now close the small capillary to enable gas not Escape. I'll just pinch it, being a small pipe. Now I'll use the, the flame. It will not come out. That means it is tight. Now I'll use the same same flame to go inside the system and try and detect area of leakage.
Now I'm going inside and try at a distance and find out any area that will produce flame. Anywhere that will produce flame, that is the area of leakage. We can't see either. We can't get either. So, because we don't see extra flame, we'll close our map gas. After closing the map gas, I'll go put liquid side the down to get the liquid that means the pressure will build up I'll put it upside down the well done and open the gauge more further so that the pressure build should build yes now I'll go back with my torch to my torch and find out if in case there is leakage Using slight flame with that liquid, I want to see. We can detect ether, we can detect any area of leak. So, this one renders me to conclude that the pipe might be leaking between the suction pipe of this pipe and between here and here where it meets the evaporator. What do I mean by evaporator? Evaporator is this system made of aluminium this is the small pipe, a capillary tube, that I was getting the gas from outside. So it starts from that capillary, from the filter. It comes to this aluminium coil, 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 and goes back via this aluminium pipe. And it will come back to the compressor via this pipe. Via this pipe. So I've decided to use a reverse cycle for pressure testing the system because I'll achieve more gas via big pipe than via this small pipe. So I want to release this gas via this small pipe and it will come out. You can now, I want to use the torch to prove that the gas will come out and all you can see is the gas I'm referring to the difference. So I'll certain confidently that this leakage of this my gas between sanction, the bigger pipe to the evaporator or between the small pipe, this capillary to the evaporator because this bigger pipe comes and enters here, then it comes to this this is the accumulator to accumulate more gas. We can see it is sound, nothing we've tested with the uh, map gas, the torch method, and there was no leakage. So the leakage is between here and the body inside. So we render this fridge an economical to repair because we cannot deform the designer, the designer design from the factory. We cannot spoil the design from the factory. So this customer must be given another fridge because we cannot repair inside the foam. Otherwise the foam is very flammable. No brazing, no no brazing can happen inside. So I'll close my glass such that I preserve the freedom 
and remove my gauge from the system. See how much gas has gone inside. 